Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Derail Valley. I'm your host, Nexus, and uh, today, well, today you're going to get kind of a special. Uh, today you'll get two episodes. Uh, you'll get one uh, regular episode, and on top of that, I was asked to do a keyboard uh, tutorial, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, so, yeah, that's what this one's going to be. So, uh, basically, I'm going to do the keyboard tutorial first. So, if you're playing this non uh, VR version and you're curious about how some of the controls work since they've been changed around and whatnot uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so obviously W moves forward and this is the walk I can walk faster than that but this is pretty sad um, that should be fixed in my opinion but we're not gonna get into that uh, a goes left D goes right and S goes backwards if you hold shift this is run while you're holding either up down left or right W A S D. Okay, so hold shift to run. Okay, right. All right. Uh, mouse is you know you can invert this if you want, but yeah, obviously forward is up, backward is down, left right. Da 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 da. Got got it. Everything everything everybody good with that? All right. So the next thing is is if you look at something that says F to enter. So if you hit F, you'll stand on top of it. Or if it's a box car, you might actually stand inside of it. Uh, depending. That looks like they might fix that in an update. Uh, sometimes you used to be able to go into the box cars, and uh, as much as I hated being stuck in the box cars while I was trying to power a train, uh, now that it doesn't seem to be possible, it kind of seems like um, I missed out on something. Anyway, so F will teleport you wherever you point, you'll go. If I point up there, well, it, you don't go that far at a time, but you get the gist. The higher you point, the further you'll go. Right? Make sense? Awesome. Okay, so. That's teleporting around. This is also how you get inside the engine if you were to fall out, which um, would be bad. Okay, next thing. The mouse wheel will scroll your little uh, tool belt at the bottom of the screen. Up goes this way, down goes this way. Okay, to get into each of those things, you just highlight it with the mouse wheel and press the tab button. There's the wallet, there's a station map, uh, junction remote, world map, the lighter, which we'll get to that in a minute, and the shovel. Okay, so let's go. I don't think there's a steam engine here, is there? There's not. But that's okay because I have already covered the steam engine and how the shovel works and the lighter, and those are both in that tutorial. Um, I'll go ahead and cover the lighter once again, uh, real quick, because I think that the t they might have changed the uh, button on what the tutorial says. The tutorial might say that the lighter is lit or thrown with the middle mouse wheel. It's not the middle mouse wheel anymore. Um, you might be able to change it. I haven't tried, but now it's G. So you pull the lighter out with tab. You click left mouse button, uh, left mouse button to open the lighter, and then you uh, click it again to light it, and then you throw it with G instead of the mouse wheel. And then make sure that you pick it back up, otherwise it'll be lost forever. Uh, once you walk away from here, you probably won't be able to find it again. All right, so, oh, the other thing is um, they have updated the job, uh, the jobs now. So when you pick something up and you put it in your inventory and they decide that you don't want it and you drop it and you walk away from it, it doesn't automatically appear back in your inventory. It stays where you left it or rather goes back to wherever you got it from. It doesn't go back to you, which is very welcome. Thank you guys very much for that. Um, trying to see what else we can cover with the tutorial. Oh, there, that's another thing. Okay, so if you're standing, let's say we're standing in this on this thing. Here, can we can we get up on top? Is it so much to ask? Oh, it won't let us on the buildings. Ain't that a shame? That damn shame. Okay, so say that you're standing in an engine, right? And you want to be able to look out the side without having to, you know, risk falling off the train. Um, just E. Or Q, right? E, Q, and then you can basically look out the window. It, it doesn't really look like it does much from here, but when you're inside of an engine, it does a lot. All right, uh, right click on the mouse, zooms in, so you can zoom. You can also zoom while you're running. You're walking, running, walking, running. And you can zoom while you're running. Um, I want to point something out. See how that's a dead end? I'm going to say that there's probably going to be a tunnel right there. 
through that mountain that's going to go out on the other side. Um, it would totally make sense to do so. Because uh, there's no way to turn around in here once an engine tr or a train gets in here a certain way. Well, there is, but it's, just, it's a headache. Uh, Alright, so did I cover everything on the keyboard? I'm pretty sure that I did, but I mean, there may be buttons that they've added that I'm not aware of. But for the time being, that's pretty much, that's it. That's pretty much the tutorial. Uh, and uh, oh, I didn't get it done in under five minutes, but that's okay. We'll work on the time thing. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this and it was helpful, please leave me a like and a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you'd like to see more things like this and uh, similar games on the channel. I've been Nexus, and this has been Derail Valley, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.